guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video, something just a little bit fun for you guys. I actually do not know my Hogwarts house or anything else like Faction from Divergent, District from Hunger Games, like all of these things that you guys know and I especially the Hogwarts house thing like I honestly love Harry Potter and I don't know my Hogwarts house and I feel like that is crazy because I see you guys mention it all the time like on Instagram and Twitter it's in your bios you ask questions about it on your stories or you have posts related to it and I just I don't know what Hogwarts house I'm in I have an idea but I actually think I could be in multiple ones I think I have like qualities from several different houses so we're gonna take the test today and find out for sure what Hogwarts house I'm in what divergent faction I'm in and what district I would be in if I was in the Hunger Games I'm gonna be taking some quizzes online and they are from epic reads BuzzFeed I think one of them and then Pottermore which is the Hogwarts website and so we're gonna officially know by the end of this video where I belong <laughs> in all of these fictional worlds. So yeah, hopefully my Wi-Fi will hold out for me to be able to do this because if y'all know, I mention this quite frequently, but we live in the mountains and the Wi-Fi is not that great. So hopefully it will hold out for me to be able to do this because I think it's gonna be really fun and I think it will be cool to finally know what place I am in all of these fictional worlds that I really love because I love Hunger Games, Divergent, and Harry Potter. Those are all worlds that I really enjoy and books that I enjoy. So I think it'll be kind of fun for me to just take the test and show you guys what house I'm in and faction and district. And then you guys need to let me know in the comments where you belong also if we're in the same ones or if you're in different ones. So definitely comment down below what house, faction, and district you are in because I would love to find out. And I think it would be so cool to see um, where you guys belong in some of these fictional worlds also. Without any further ado, let's get started. Start with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I'm going to find out my home. Hogwarts house and I just want to show you guys the website for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, wizardingworld.com. It is so awesome. I cannot even imagine having your book turn into a franchise like this and just having all these cool things. And so I was kind of browsing through the website and I thought I would just show you guys because it's so cool. I love Harry Potter so much. I just marathoned all the movies. So I just appreciate this website and I've never been on it so then again, I also don't know my Hogwarts house, but we're going to find out now. So I'm going to log in. So I don't have an account, so I'm going to have to create a passport. And then I'm going to fill out this stuff and not show you guys this either. Okay, so now we can start. All right, discover your house. Okay, so we're gonna get started and my Wi-Fi is slow so it might not load all of the photos. Um, dawn or desk? Hmm, desk. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you glory, love, power, or wisdom? Wisdom. Once every century, the Flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of the sea. Calm. A crackling log fire. Fresh parchment. Hmm. Probably a fire or home. Probably this one. Late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you draw your wand and stand your ground? Withdraw into the shadows to await developments while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. Draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for any disturbance. Um, probably this one. Which of the following would you most like to study? Merpeople, centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, or ghosts? That's a lot of options. Um, probably centaurs. 
A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? A nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. I don't know what the other options are. Three, I guess? Student records going back 1,000 years. Wait, can I move them around? Oh, man. Okay, reorder items. Um, okay, so a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. I feel like in the Harry Potter world, that would definitely mean something important. Student records, not as important, and dragon pox would probably be third, I guess. So, maybe second. I feel like student records wouldn't be that important, so maybe second. Third and first okay if you were attending hogwarts which pet would you choose to take with you definitely owls if you were attending hogwarts which pet would you choose to take with you barn owl tawny owl snowy owl screech owl brown owl let's see if the pictures will load i'm so bummed y'all can't see the photos I don't know. I do know, even though we can't see the photos, I know that Snowy Owl is like Hedwig, and I really love Hedwig, so maybe I'll pick that one. Left, right, right. It's calculating. Alright, are we ready? I don't know what I'm going to be. <gasps> Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw, maybe? Ravenclaw. Wit, learning, and wisdom. I'm going to look up what the qualities are of, I wonder, oh, it already comes up. Okay, Hogwarts House characteristics, and I'm going to look up to see um let's see oh i think this is ravenclaw right here this hogwarts house is the brainy or artsy house intelligence wit wisdom creativity originality individuality and acceptance instead of fighting with force they will th think through it even more than a slytherin gryffindor is brave daring valiant courageous ravenclaws are have wisdom they're intellectual clever sharp-minded logical creative Oh, there we go. It's <laughs> and then um, Hufflepuffs are loyal, tolerant, patient, hardworking, friendly, dedicated. See, that's why I feel like I'm also Hufflepuff. I feel like I'm both of these. <laughs> and then I'm definitely not a Slytherin. I am ambitious, but I'm I'm definitely not a Slytherin. Okay, so now let's go and take the, so yeah, Ravenclaw. So now let's go and take the Divergent Test over here on Epic Reads. And I'll find out what my faction is. All right. Start the quiz. When you are faced with a difficult problem, you react by... Making a list of pros and cons, creating a work of art that expresses your feelings, doing whatever will be the best thing for the most people, debating the issue with your friends, or facing it head on. I feel like whenever I have a problem, I don't necessarily make an, an actual list, but I'll make like a verbal list, like talk it through with somebody, and I won't necessarily debate it. It's more like talking through it, and then I'll try to see like what are the pros and cons of the situation, and then make the best decision, so I feel like probably that one you most want your family and friends to see you as someone who is willing to make sacrifices is liked by everyone is trustworthy or will protect them no matter what happens or offers wise advice 
I'm definitely the friend that um, people come to for advice a lot. So I feel like this fits. But the what I most want people to see me as is probably someone who's like willing to help them in need. So I'll say this one. If you had to select the following options as a profession, which would you choose? Judge, firefighter, scientist, farmer, or humanitarian? Um, from the options, I would probably say farmer or humanitarian. I really love science, but I'm going to go with humanitarian. I feel like I'm going to get abnegation. What activity would you most likely find yourself doing on an unexpected day off? Rock climbing, volunteering, reading, sharing opinions with your friends, or something artistic. Well, I spend a lot of time writing, as you guys know, so we're going to go with that. When choosing your outfit for the day, you select whatever will attract the least amount of attention, something that will not distract or inhibit you, something comfortable but interesting, whatever will attract the most attention, or something that's simple but expresses personality. If you discovered that a friend's significant other was being unfaithful, you would tell your friend ASAP, confront them, sit them both down and act as a mediator, keep it to yourself, or tell your friend it's unhealthy for them to be in a relationship where such selfish behavior is present. I would tell them. Mm -hmm. What would you say is your highest priority in life right now? Success in work or school, finding peace and happiness for yourself, seeking truth in all things, serving those around you, or developing strength of character? This one's hard. I feel like it's this one and this one and this one, but I'll probably go with this one. Let's see. I'm not surprised at all. Although, because I got Ravenclaw in my Hogwarts test, I'm kind of surprised that I, a little bit surprised I guess I got abnegation, but then again, I feel like I'm equally Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, like I said, and so I feel like abnegation or amity and then erudite would be um the ones that I'm closest to and that's why I thought I might get divergent because I kind of relate a lot to several of the factions but I guess I'm abnegation so we have Ravenclaw abnegation and now let's find out what district I would live in all right pick a state mm -hmm. This is a lot of options. I live on the East Coast now, but I love, I've only been to Colorado on the West Coast, but I really loved it. So I'm going to go with Colorado. What would you grab from the cornucopia? I would run. I would run. Is that an option? I would run away. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if there was something on like the perimeter, I would grab it like a knife or something. Um, I don't know. I feel like the wise option is to pick something useful, but honestly, I feel like I would probably run away. Isn't that what PETA does? I think that's what PETA does. Yeah, I'm definitely like PETA. Which celebrity would you fear the most? Let's see. Oh, her. Mm -hmm. 100%. I would never fear her. I want to be her friend. All right. Pick a job. This was a really sad scene in the movies, you guys. If you've seen the Hunger Games movies. Okay, pick a job. Um, ooh, I don't know about any of these. Um, I don't, maybe this one. I feel like this is an awful job to have in the Hunger Games because it probably puts you in one of the one of the more difficult districts, but we're going to go with that. What do you fear most in the games? Bloodbath in the Cornucopia, Fireballs, Mutant Dogs, Blood Rain, Tracker Jackers, Mistaking Berries for Nightlock, Invisible Force Field, Poisonous Fog, Tidal Wave, Mutant Monkeys, Insect Mutts, or Jabber Jays that torture your mind? These are all horrible. <laughs> um... I distinctly remember that whenever I saw the first movie, I was so scared whenever that dog jumped out at PETA. So I'm going to go with this one. Um, pick a Jennifer Lawrence. Ooh. Um, this one. I saw whenever she fell during that. So we're going to go with that. 
I would not want that to happen to me, but she handled it pretty well, I think. Pick a sponsor gift. Firewood, rope, spile, clothing, night vision, glasses, medicine, weapons, sleeping bag, matches, iodine, food, canteen. I'm going to go with medicine because it saved PETA's life and I feel like that would be super useful because I would probably get shot or stabbed or speared or something in the in the arena. Again, very much like PETA. I relate to him a lot, so I think medicine would be helpful. Which arena frightens you the most? Deserted islands, scrub terrain, burning desert, close wasteland... I'm going to go with this one. How would you form an alliance? Who would you form an alliance with? She's awesome. I love her. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Lee Shang. I feel like he could fight really well, and I feel like that would, yeah. He'd be a good ally. Pick a superpower. Breathe underwater, ability to fly, healing powers, control the elements, read minds, telekinesis, super strength, talk to animals, invisibility, ability to control minds, teleportation, super intelligence. I always say fly as my number one like superpower that I want to have. I feel like healing powers would be so good to have in the arena because you could basically survive the entire time. But I also feel like controlling the elements would be really good as well. I'll go with that one. What token would you take to the games? Wooden ball, silver necklace, diamond ring, custom keychain, hairpin, mockingjay pin. Um, I'm going to do this one because I actually do have a ring that is very important to me. District 9. Considered Pan Am's bread bowl, District 9 is responsible for grain. The district has 12 mills with a population of 15,000, making it the second smallest district. It tends to perform poorly in the Hunger Games. Yeah, I would I would perform very poorly. I, 100%, I would die in the Hunger Games. I like to think that I would volunteer as tribute, but I, I would 100% die. <laughs> right, so, Ravenclaw, Abnegation, and District 9. All right, guys, that is all for today. Let me know. I would really love to see what Hogwarts House and Divergent Faction and Hunger Games District that you guys are in. So let me know down below in the comments. It would be really cool to compare. And also let me know if you think that my um, results from the tests were accurate or if you think that I belong in another house faction or district. I think this was pretty fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any video requests, as always, leave them down below in the comments. My social media is also in the description box if you want to hang out with me over on Instagram or Twitter or Goodreads or any of the places that I'm at. So check that out as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! Doing some research about this. I actually am adding this portion in after um, the beginning portion. So I filmed all of that about a week ago and I was just editing. And as I was watching all the footage and watching me take the test and everything, I feel like there were answers that I definitely maybe would choose differently even now. And that's what's so crazy is that I feel like I fall into so many different ones, um, both with the Divergent and, both, and the Hogwarts house. The Hunger Games one, I feel like I don't really have a, a specific district. That one was kind of just for fun. But with both Divergent and Hunger Games, I, I mean, with Divergent and Hogwarts, I feel like I fall into multiple categories. And it's so funny because part of the reason I wanted to add this at the end is because I thought it would be fun to ask you guys on Instagram what faction and Hogwarts house you all thought that I was in before this video goes live. And so even right now, you guys are voting um, on Instagram, which is super cool. And it's interesting to see what you guys think, because a lot of you think Ravenclaw, but some of you have even said Slytherin, um, which is super interesting. And the more that I do research into both Divergent and Hog in the Hogwarts houses, the more that I'm learning and the more that I feel like I fit into several different ones. So I thought it'd be cool real quick to just look at some of these qualities um, for both because like you guys saw, I got Ravenclaw for Hogwarts and then I got Abnegation for Divergent, but I definitely think that I crossed the lines a lot and I even asked my family and a lot of them were saying that I was in multiple and they couldn't really choose one either. So for the Hogwarts houses, you can see them here. It's Gryffindor, Slytherin, um, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And so there's just like some qualities on here that it talks about with each of the houses. So let's go down. 
So for Gryffindor, I'm going to zoom in here for you guys to see. Gryffindor values bravery, daring, nerve, and chivalry. Okay, and then we have Hufflepuff, which values hard work, dedication, patience, loyalty, and fair play. Ravenclaw, which values intelligence, knowledge, and wit. And Slytherin, which values ambition, cunning, and resourcefulness. And as you saw on some of the other ones that we saw earlier, Slytherin also values like leadership and um, values what else? They're often perfectionists. They're very ambitious. Um, they're very like go-getters. But at the same time, they value self-preservation. So with Slytherin especially, um, some of you said that you thought I was in Slytherin. And it's interesting because my immediate reaction was, no way, I'm not in Slytherin, but the more that I research this one, I actually feel like I have quite a few of the qualities of Slytherin. I feel like I am really ambitious and like a leader, like in groups, and I definitely feel like I'm a perfectionist, but a lot of those qualities are things that I, um, not necessarily disliking myself, but I'm trying not to let control me as much um, because my perfectionism definitely does. So I feel like I want to lessen some of the Slytherin qualities, but not like eradicate them completely, but just um, le lessen them a little bit. And then Ravenclaw, I definitely feel like I fit a lot. And so if it was like the best house out of all of them, probably Ravenclaw would be it. But then um, Hufflepuff, I definitely value hard work and dedication and, and loyalty and fairness and friendliness as well. So I don't know. I just find this really interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys do as well. I know it's literally made up and based on a book, but I feel like this is so cool to kind of um, look at different personality traits. And I feel like people are super complex and, or at least I am. And so I don't think that necessarily a person fits into only one thing, which is pretty much the whole point of Divergent, um, you know, is that some people don't fit. So yeah. And then in Divergent, you know, Amity, which is peaceful, Abnegation, selfless, erudite, intelligent, candor, honest, and dauntless, brave. I definitely don't think I'm dauntless. I can say that with pretty much certainty. I do value bravery, but myself, I, I would not probably be able to do most of the things that the dauntless do in the books and in the movie. Um, I definitely do value a lot of what Amity stands for and what Abnegation stands for as well, which is what I ended up getting. But to be honest, I really feel like I fit into erudite also but at the same time, I cross over the borders because while I, while I value intelligence, um, a lot of the qualities of the erudite in the books, I don't really agree with. I agree more so with abnegation and amity. So I don't know. I'm going to pop in here a lot of what you guys said, what faction and house you guys put me in. I'm going to put some of your answers to the Instagram poll in here so that you can see because I just think it's really fascinating. And I don't know, this is just really cool to me. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of a breakdown and also say that although I feel like Ravenclaw fits well, I wouldn't necessarily say abnegation fits the best um, or fits 100%. So this was just for fun. Obviously, it's not like my identity, but I definitely think it's cool. And I really do think that I'm divergent <laughs> and that I cross lines into a lot of the different houses and a lot of different factions.